So I wanted to hit on a few reasons why you should go ahead and consider switching from ChatGPT over to Google Gemini. Now, a big thing to keep in mind is that Google Gemini is a very, very good tool, but so is, you know, ChatGPT. They're both very good. Number one, the main reason why I would recommend switching from ChatGPT over to Google Gemini is mostly because of the Google, you know, interface. If you are already super deep inside of Google's workspace at all, if you're inside of Google Gem, like Gmail, you know, Google Maps, YouTube, uh, Google Docs, Google Sheets, if you're like a Google company or a Google workspace like Powerhouse, it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and use Google Gemini. The reason for that is because it integrates so well inside of all these different types of, you know, Google products. So if I'm about to go through and like pick up a specific, you know, AI model, I probably want to use the one that's going to work the best for my use case. And I definitely will tell you Google Gemini, if you have the, you know, the higher end model, Google AI Pro, you will actually be able to go through and take advantage of that type of, you know, a, you know, situation. So I think that's a really cool thing. I think if I'm about to go through, like I said, and get an AI model and use a specific tool, I definitely want to buy the one that's going to be giving you the best types of features for my use case. And definitely when it comes down to that, you're, do you're going to be getting a very good model for the most part, especially that's going to be able to tap into your Gmail and Google Docs and all those other things. On top of that, Google Gemini can integrate a lot better with Google search, which means that it can access kind of more up to date information and potentially more accurate and relevant information than ChatGPT. So that right there can also be another very big thing to keep in mind. If you're wanting to go through and basically get a model that's going to be giving you a better experience, that right there can also be another one of those big things to keep in mind there. Again, it wouldn't be the biggest deal in the world, but if you are about to go through and pick up a model, it would make a lot of sense to go and pick up one that might be giving you a better experience. And in this case, if you do want to go and get a little bit of a better situation, that could be one thing to keep in mind. Also, I feel like if you're going to pay for an AI model, like if you're paying for ChatGPT+, Plus, I feel like Google AI Pro, the base model of that, is actually probably going to give you an overall better type of experience here than something like Google, you know, than something like ChatGPT. That's genuinely what I kind of feel like. And I do feel like if you're about to go through and pick up a model, like I stated, that one is definitely the one I'd probably recommend getting in that particular situation. When I look at it, that's a really, really decent type of model. And although it's not the biggest deal in the world, it really is another one of those types of models I look at. And it would actually be a really nice thing to basically switch over to a paid model that's going to be giving me more stuff. So without a doubt, that's kind of how I see it. I definitely will tell you there's a lot of good stuff going on here, but you know, the way I see it, it definitely makes a lot of sense to switch over to Google Gemini, but there's some advantages for ChatGPT. And I'll talk about that in a different video. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.